welcome to the Village of Grafton. I'm Mayor David DiVincenzo, been mayor, this is my second term. Hi, I'm Joe Price, Village Administrator for the Village of Grafton. Population of about 2,700 residents. Hometown feel, it's just a, a rural village that has that hometown Americana feel that we all want to enjoy at one point in our life. Rural agricultural community with a lot of nice small businesses uh, in town. We've got uh, industrial park that provides jobs for the community. In addition, we've got three state facilities that take up a large portion of our eastern end of the uh, village where we really started our solar project. Uh, we have our own uh, independent uh, electrical grid here in the Grafton, so we provide power to the businesses and the residents. Nine years ago, the state wanted to get rid of uh, a lot of land that they had out there. So we approached the state about acquiring some land out there with the purpose of trying to utilize it for economic development. And as we researched projects for economic development, we sort of landed on solar as a building block for what we envision Grafton in the future to be. And we see the solar project that we have installed out there as giving us some long-term uh, control of our energy and costs. We think that's important to businesses. So you look at the cost of power, and for the most part throughout Ohio, you're dealing with either First Energy or you're dealing with AEP. And Grafton itself had its own municipal system and it had its own portfolio, but we were only competitive with First Energy toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And while we're toe-to-toe -to, -toe to them with cost for electricity, as transmission costs are going like this, we wanted to look at a project that would help us control those transmission costs. The only way to do that is generation behind the meter. And then through solar, we saw an opportunity to not only come down and be competitive with First Energy in the future, but even the potential of being below them. How the solar project has benefited us was the fact that we're able to stabilize our energy usage, especially during peak power demand loads. Uh, when peak demand loads are on the system, energy costs go up. So if we could find a way to shave those peak energy demands, solar was the perfect fit to do that because in the summer when it's hot and everybody's got their air conditioners on and there's a big use of power, we've got the most production out of our solar field. So we're actually feeding our solar energy behind the meter into our grid, uh, saving us uh, substantially in transmission costs. You know, everybody thinks profit and loss in business, but when you're in federal government, state government, county governments, municipal government, we generate revenues. We don't create profit and loss. So as we want to basically provide all the services we can, we have to have that revenue stream coming in. So the uh, unorthodox approach to this project was we weren't going to bring additional revenues into the village, but we were going to pass the savings directly out to our customers of the system. So that was the unique part of it. We weren't generating any additional revenues. We weren't going to even in one iota, but what we were gonna do is save all of our customers a lot of money, including us. We're one of the largest users of electricity. Our wastewater treatment plant facility is the third largest user here in town. So we're going to save money ourselves. What it has uniquely done is it's taken the power cost adjustment rate, which everybody complains about, and there's multiple variables to get plugged into that. But all the savings is getting plugged into that right now, and we've already cut that in half from about $28 a month down to even as low as $12 a month. And it's projected that in 2023, all of our customers are gonna be receiving a $1 a month credit. So a significant savings for everyone, including the Village of Grafton. We think we ended up with something that was just um, super beneficial. Uh, and that combined with maybe a 200 acre um, technology park, which we wanna install, uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for businesses who want to relocate here, who are concerned about their carbon footprint and renewable energy. We've got the spot for them in the village of Grafton.